Hello and welcome back, I'm Loudguns um, and today we're going to take a look at the Arlington Gang mission chain. Uh, since Xeno Threat ended, this is one of the ways to uh, get yourself into a capital ship battle in Star Citizen at the moment. Um, so if this content's useful for you, then please consider liking, subscribing to the channel um, and feel free to leave me any comments down below. Um, if you'd like to join our Discord, um, it's a fairly chilled out environment with uh, a lot of like-minded people just enjoying playing Star Citizen, then uh, the link to that is also in the video description. Um, and if you are a new player sort of considering picking up a uh, game package, then you can also find my referral code down there, uh, start you out with an extra 5,000 UEC, and it helps me out too. Uh, so we're currently going head on out in my uh, Sabre, um, and we'll just take a quick look at the loadout I'm going to use for the majority of this before we get going. So this Sabre is my main bounty hunting ship. Uh, I've got two Panther repeaters, uh, laser repeaters on the nose, and two XJ3 distortion repeaters on the wings, um, just to give an even distribution of damage, and so I don't need to keep returning uh, to restock ballistic ammo, etc. Uh, for systems, got the FR-66 shields um, and one extra JS-300 power plant to uh, to make sure that can be powered while overclocked. Um, and then I've upgraded the quantum drive to a military A-grade one to uh, enable faster travel between the different points. So this Eckhart security job op mission uh, will pop up in your personal tab. And that's the one you need to uh, start this chain off. This will ask you to come and meet Miles Eckhart down on uh, Lawville on Hurston. Getting that mission to spawn can be one of the trickiest parts of the Arlington Gang uh, chain. So I ran quite a lot of bounty hunter missions, but I also ran quite a lot of mercenary missions around both Hurston and Crusader. Uh, so some of those halt illegal surveillance ones uh, around the satellites, but also um, some of the ECN alerts. Um, those sort of send you off out into an asteroid field or just deep space where you'll be tasked with defending a civilian ship. It was actually after doing one of those that this mission um, popped up for me. So uh, so if you're struggling to get it, I would recommend um, maybe looking at ones which aren't just bounty hunting. Um, so eventually once you get that, he will request that you come down to uh, Lawville to meet him and it will give you a decent bit of spiel about how he's uh, just running a small time security company. Um, so the good news is that it's only for the first mission of this chain that you need to come down here. Uh, Eckhart also gives out some pretty decent group bounty hunting missions um, which again might require another visit uh, but that's separate to the Arlington gang chain. So once he has uh, done his spiel, he will offer you the first contract in the um, in the chain. And so that's going to be to take down Les Arlington um, with a payment of 7,500 Alpha UEC. So you just want to make sure you accept this one. Um, and then it functions in exactly the same way as uh, any normal bounty hunting mission. So you get the rendezvous beacon, um, come out here to one of the asteroid fields and you find Les. So Les Arlington will be flying an Aegis Eclipse, uh, which shouldn't be too much of a hassle to, uh, to take down in any decent bounty hunting vessel. So I just have these distortions on here to make sure that they break the shields a lot quicker. Um, and then the laser repeaters are there to finish him off. And like I said, it's a good build for not having to return and restock and rearm a lot. Um, this can sort of keep you out bounty hunting for long periods at a time. So uh, it's a perfectly fine build for these uh, earlier Arlington Gang missions. Just like with other bounty hunting tasks, 
you can just get in there, take out the primary target, and then turn and burn for the nearest quantum point. What would have helped me is if I'd remembered to overclock my systems though, so uh, don't forget to do that, it will make less of a meal out of, um, out of targets. So just overclock all your shields and all your weapons, um, assuming you've just made sure that you've got enough power and cooling to do that. Sometimes one of the guns is a little bit tricky, but just keep patiently clicking it. So you will then start getting the uh, next missions through the Bounty Hunter tab. Uh, so the next one is to capture Nix Cantwell. Um, Sometimes these just take a few minutes to uh, to appear in your list. So what I was mostly doing was sort of running one of the Arlington gang missions, running another bounty in the meantime, and then coming back out and uh, doing the next one. So Nick's Cantwell will be flying an Aegis Sabre. So we've got some Sabre on Sabre action. Um, but with this build, he shouldn't present too much of a problem. Uh, probably worth a uh, clear disclaimer before I see lots of comments about how crap I am at combat uh, to just say that I am not a combat pilot. Uh, this is more a case of if I can do it, anyone can do it, um, then it is a uh, guide on how to be a uh, an ace pilot. Uh, mining's more my thing, but I'm I'm trying to get better at some of the uh, some of the other aspects of the game, particularly combat at the moment. So up next we have Sam Weepy Arlington uh, for 12,000 AUEC. He's going to be flying a Anvil Hurricane, um, so a bit more firepower particularly with that turret um, and if it's got ballistic weapons then that can do some damage if you're not careful um, but just make sure you keep strafing um, and the AI find it a bit difficult to hit you um, and the uh, hurricane is quite a flimsy ship still so while it packs a bit of a punch it's a, uh, it's a glass cannon so should be pretty easy for you to uh, to quickly knock out. Having said I'm a terrible pilot, I would just argue there is quite a bit of desync on the go at the moment, so maybe I'm not quite as bad as I look. So Oslo Arlington is going to be the next up. Um, and this one, ironically, I find the uh, the Vanguard Wardens um, to be quite a lot easier actually than the Hurricanes. Um, so just bear in mind those Vanguards have got one big gun on the nose. Uh, so as long as you just keep strafing, uh, they're not the most manoeuvrable of ships. And as long as you stay out of the uh, line of fire of that that main big cannon, should be uh, should be easy enough to take down. And with all of these, I'm just following the standard practice of just turn and burn after it's done. Uh, if you want more of a scrap, stay around because uh, they will have some uh, some backup. So cast dent. Um, this is where it starts to maybe get a bit trickier. Sort of the retaliator. Still not too too difficult to uh, take down but it is a bit tankier than uh, than some of the other ships we've we've come across until now um, and it does have turrets sort of uh, providing it with fairly good cover all over so uh, so yeah but just keep moving keep strafing AI hate strafing um, and you should be able to uh, power through it easy enough
coincidentally if you do have trouble with any of these don't worry about it if you fail these missions um you will be able to just uh maybe you might have to wait five minutes but it will just come up again so um so yeah if you mess one up don't worry you don't have to go back and do the whole chain again um so arguably because there's not the reputation involved actually the arlington gang is quite a good way to practice um against some of the tougher targets uh without the fear that one uh, one mistake is going to set you back in your sort of reputation with the bounty hunter guild Eventually we get on to uh, taking down the gang leader Maltrox Arlington, um, so for 45,000 AUEC we will expect him to be in something nastier, um, and this is where you will have to take down a hammerhead. So one thing I did find was that Maltrox's backup spawn incredibly quickly. Um, so it's quite difficult I found um, other people are probably a lot better at taking on hammerheads than I am. Um, but I did find it quite difficult to take down the hammerhead without first um, just dealing with his pack up, particularly since quite a few of them are packing uh, ballistic scatter guns, which can do quite a lot of damage and penetrate shields. So in this instance, um, I deviated and I, I focused the backup before I focused the main ship. Um, a good idea in this case though is to just make sure you take that call to arms mission uh, it's fairly standard practice for if you're going out bounty hunting at all it will just give you a bit of extra return from uh, from dealing with these smaller ships so once you've got rid of the escort it uh, frees you up to just focus on mount trucks himself in this hammerhead um, what you want to probably look at doing is uh, focusing one side of the hammerhead so the shields and the shield regen rate are quite high um, so you can see in the top right you can see he's got sort of four shields shield facings um, and what you try to do is knock out one of those so you can start doing damage to the actual hull uh, you want to try and keep that one shield targeted um, I have switched the build out slightly on the, the Sabre this time and switched to Attrition's um, rather than Panther's. Uh, I don't use them most of the time because the Attrition's require you to get in really close to do their full damage potential. Um, but in this instance, um, it's possible to get in nice and close to the Hammerhead as long as you keep moving to avoid, um, avoid damage where you can and the extra damage output from them does really help in terms of uh, taking down a ship like this. I just find the attrition's a bit unreliable if you have to get in really close to, uh, to a faster moving, more agile ship. With uh, ERTs being one of the uh, best money makers, uh, I've seen a number of different recommendations on builds for doing this. Um, seen some people using an arrow because it's super maneuverable um, and you can sort of stay in the blind dead zones of the uh, the hammerheads uh, I think for that you'd probably use two XJ3s and uh, one attrition um, I've also seen the Hornet recommended because you can pop a size 4 fixed gun on that um, that allows you to take one of the distortion shotguns uh, which do a, a huge amount of uh, distortion damage for breaking these shields um, and I've also seen the prowler being used to good effect so that lets you put two size fives and two size threes on I believe so you can load that out with um, two of the XJ3 distortion repeaters and something like two Gaudarine uh, laser repeaters or two of the big cannons uh, ballistics are also sometimes recommended because they go through the shields um, but as you'll see you can just chip these shields down particularly if you focus on the one uh, with with distortion weaponry of course the final option to uh, to make your life taking out hammerheads a lot easier is to just use something like an eclipse uh, with a full stealth build um, and 
talk to this guy to death. So you'll see there, I, I nearly uh, bit the bullet on that one, um, stopped moving for a second, and those hammerhead turrets managed to, uh, to get a decent fix on me. Uh, but that shield on the one flank is uh, is slowly but surely going down. And when that shield drops, you'll see that the uh, the attritions actually make fairly short work, um, even of a ship of this size. So keep moving, but maybe don't move quite that much. That was uh, that was a moment where I thought I'd entirely screwed the pooch on this one. But now as we're through the shields, we can see his hull is uh, starting to take damage. And like I said earlier, sort of actually because of the way um, if you fail this, you can just run it again and again and again until you get it right. Uh, actually, these Arlington gang missions are a great way to practice um, your technique for taking down ships like the Hammerhead. So once you've taken... Maltrox out, he'll get sent to prison, but then he'll escape, um, and because a hammerhead wasn't big enough, he will uh, go and steal himself an Idris uh, capital ship. So this mission flags up, and just bear in mind that it goes server-wide, so anyone with access to the, uh, the Idris mission will see the same mission that you did, um, and will uh, will get this come up, and will be free to uh, turn up to exactly the same rendezvous point as you. So full disclaimer, I did not decide to go and uh, fight the Idris on my own. One, because I'm not that good a pilot, and two, because a lot of these things are just more fun with friends. So uh, so first we just focused on getting rid of his uh, fighter screen. Um, didn't want those guys flying around while we try and take down something this big. And since we had four of us, we, uh, we ran a bit of a mixture of ships. Um, so I went out in my Vanguard Sentinel. Um, just to bring a bit of extra tankiness to things. Um, a couple of the guys were in Sabres, and then we had um, a guy in a Retaliator, one of the uh, sort of bombers. Having at least one ship in your mix with, um, with those size 9 torpedoes um, does make this a lot easier. Um, the one thing you've got to focus on is try and do everything you can to make sure those torpedoes hit. So your bomber pilot wants to let loose at the last possible moment um, with, the, uh, with their torpedoes. Um, and if you can, you want to make sure that you spam cheaper missiles uh, towards the Idris just before those torpedoes get released. Um, the capital ship AI is uh, getting, getting better and sort of the, uh, the turret gunners will prioritize higher danger targets um, so they should start prioritizing incoming torpedoes uh, they should start um, focusing on the uh, the torpedo ships ahead of the uh, the other sort of fighters which can't maybe pose as much of a risk to the uh, capital ship same sort of idea it's with the uh, with the hammerhead you don't necessarily need to take the shields down all the way across the ship. Um, if you can sort of focus on one of the shields, then you can start doing damage to the actual hull. Whatever you do though, just keep moving, um, keep firing. If you do need to uh, to bug out, then, then just quickly head out, get repairs, get restocked if you need uh, extra missiles um, or extra ammo if you're using ballistics. And this is where it's great to uh, to go and do this sort of thing as part of a group because you can quickly flit away and come back if you uh, if you need to. So a short while later, we've uh, managed to get all the shields down on this. A um, couple more torpedo volleys. And now he's pretty much uh, 
I think we've defanged him of quite a lot of the turrets. Uh, it's time to just pour everything you've got into him. You'll notice at the top there's the uh, the squad combat rating. Um, so this is just so that it can sort of even out the payment if uh, multiple uh, groups of people turn up to do this mission. Uh, so even if you're like maybe a solo pilot, uh, most of the time I've found people are really friendly and are willing to let you jump into their squad if they've got the uh, the address mission up. But if you're just out there on your own and there's a group already doing it, then uh, don't be afraid to just go and start shooting it too. Uh, because if you get a bit of that squad rating, um, then you can share a bit of the payout. Uh, so it's not quite so simple as sort of, you know, the last hit gets the money, um, which is is definitely good in my book. Um, it'll it should apportion the uh, the payout according to how much of the uh, combat rating your squad achieved. So, uh, full disclaimer though, the Arlington Gang missions are not so much about uh, about the money. There are other things that you can do in Star Citizen to make more money than you will uh, taking down the address even. So. I would probably recommend if uh, if just pure money making is your thing, then uh, then other things are good, but you can't put a price on an explosion like that. So the uh, Stanton system's a little bit safer for the time being. Uh, that said, if you uh, run this chain up to the point of the Idris, then the Idris mission will pop up for you repeatedly. Um, so the only things that should set that back are if you have to do a character reset for any reason, um, or if there's a, uh, a reputation wipe um, at any point uh, due to a patch, etc., uh, then you might have to grind out the earlier missions again. Uh, so. Like I said, if this was uh, useful for you, uh, if you find this sort of content interesting, then please let me know, hit that like button, subscribe, um, and consider coming and saying hello to us on the Discord. Links are down below. So uh, until next time, I'll, uh, I'll see you out there.